the video where I pulled out all of my Charlotte Tilbury inspired the video makeup look using all Charlotte Tilbury, which inspired another all one brand discussion. Someone in the comments requested that I do an all NARS look. So this morning I went through and pulled out all my NARS and I feel like I'm missing one thing that I couldn't find. Okay, so I double checked. I don't have any, I don't, I can't find any other NARS. I'm going to begin by putting some moisturizer on. I came across this Kate Somerville goat milk in my sample collection. And so you'll see this a couple of days. It usually takes me a couple of days to use up a sample. So I'm going to put this up. Wow. A little goes a long way. So it feels, it doesn't feel greasy. It feels hydrating. And it feels, it, it smells like product. Doesn't smell like it has anything in it to cover up the smell of the ingredients. Can you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I think a lot of us have had practice understanding conversation underneath a muffle, right? A, a muzzle. Under a muzzle. Okay, I'm going to do my Tom Ford Natasha Denona mixture, but not this second. That's going to be my foundation. For the eyes, I'm going to pull out some NARS eyeshadows. I have this one. It's called Ashes to Ashes. I have this one. It's called Brits. I have this one. I know which one this one is. This one's Galapagos. Remember when that one was so popular? I have... Ooh, this one's broken. I think this one's a pressed pigment. It's really soft. This one's called Isla Bonita. This one's called Rome. This one is a sample or a travel size blush glue. I guess it's a blush. It is. All right. This one is Fez. And this one is Virgin Gorda. I also had someone ask that I do a dark eye and a nude lip. Maybe we can combine that. A NARS look that happens to be a dark eye and a nude lip. And this one is Isolde. Isolde? Isolde. Isolde. So those are the eyeshadows that we have to work with. We'll put up Gordas so I don't use it as an eyeshadow. I have enjoyed the lid done with a wet brush and a sparkly shadow. So I'm going to, but I'm, I don't know. Oh, we need an eyeshadow primer. I'm going to use my NARS and it is in creme brulee. I'm going to use that. I'm going to put it underneath here so that when I go to do shadow under there, it sticks. Uh, this is a multitasker concealer brush from Sephora. Probably vintage now. I think they still make this, but it's a double-ended brush now. All right, the eyes are primed. Since I got asked for a dark look, I'm going to begin with a dark shadow. And I'm going to pat on the Galapagos. That's dark, right? And I'm going to keep it on my lid lid. I did not spray this brush, I don't think. It doesn't feel wet. I don't remember spraying it. I don't think I did. I think I stopped before I did that. Okay, so Galapagos is a, call it a, I guess it's a warm, a bronzy brown. 
it looks like it could have the slightest amount of green in it. Then I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is one of from Jacqueline Hill's The Eye Master Collection. And I used a microfiber towel to get the eyeshadow out of it that was in there. I'm going to take the color Fez, I guess, and put that on my on the brow bone or run it through the socket. And I'm going to drag it up out here. See what what brush? It's a 32 JH32 from Morphe. It's Jaclyn Hills Eye Master collection. It comes in the little silver travel bag. And the travel bag is down here on the floor with electric curler pins in it. See, it's got my electric curler pins in it. Yes, I bought a set of electric curlers because I wanted to experiment with those again. All right, that's nice and softened out. I like it. I'm going to take a pencil brush. I have one from Jaclyn Hill's collection. It is 39. And I'm going to take some more of that Galapagos and drag it down underneath like that. I wonder what would happen if we took a wet brush. This is a E06 from Sigma. And I wet it with the Fix Plus, and now I'm taking the Galapagos. And I'm going to make a liner out of it. Not to be confused with a liar. A liner and a liar are two, two completely different birds. Okay, I like that. I put some Fix Plus on my palette and I'm going to use this like a watercolor. Remind me next time I'm looking for a brown eyeliner to use my Galapagos. This is working well. All right, I'm going to try it in between my lashes on the bottom. All right. Let's do some eyebrows. I don't have any brow Products. So I'm going to use the Galapagos in my eyebrows too. So today is Friday and I'm usually getting ready for work. But seeing as I'm opting out of the mask, uh, I'm getting ready to do a video. That's what this get... Okay, so this is a combination. This is a face made with Mar Mars. This is a face made with NARS. It's a dark eye look, so that fits two requests. And then it's a get ready with me because I'm getting ready to do a vi another video. You have to tune in tomorrow night to find out what I was doing, what I was getting ready for what I was. Now I'm going to take a brow brush spoolie and lighten that front. So I have nothing on my face but moisturizer. This bronziness is suntan. Or suntan and freckles. So we finished the series called Dublin Murders. And we started another one last night, but I slept through it. It was called Bancroft. I needed some Z's. Now I'm going to clean off my pencil brush from Jaclyn Hill and dip it in this Virgin Gorda. Put some on the front. Let's do some mascara. I do not have any NARS mascara. So for giggles, let's pull out Let's pull out one that I haven't shown lately. 
Let's pull out Sumptuous Bold Volume Lifting Mascara from Estee Lauder. It's got a, a narrow brush. I, it's almost as small as, I guess it's a, similar to the brush on Definacil. So you can get down in there and get those lashes. And I can bump my tight line with it to tight line. So here's we go. Put, get a lot of product on there and bump your tight line and pull it out. Comment here if you are already doing this technique and this is nothing new to you, this bumping the tight line with your mascara. Now comment here in a separate comment if you own Galapagos. Also, let me know if you own Galapagos, who was it in the YouTube world that turned us all on to Galapagos? So I had my mascara on, and while the camera was cooling off, I felt like I had another NARS product somewhere, a NARS mascara, something, but I, I didn't locate one. But I did locate this. This is Estee Lauder Little Black Primer Tint Amplify Set. So let's see what this does. It has got a teeny little curved brush. So let's see if that would be crazy if this was the miracle product and it was here all along. Get those little outside corner ones. So I'm still using the Rodan and Fields on my eyelashes. All right, we'll let that set up. I've made a little concoction right here of the Natasha Denona, Tom Ford, and Renewal Oil. And I'm going to take my shedding brush from, I don't have any brushes from NARS either. Wasn't it the Eda brush that's so famous from NARS? I don't have that. Charlotte Tilbury brush that sheds. We'll just sweep all the hairs off at the end. All right. Sweep this up. Even out the complexion there. Now, what sh I guess we'll use the NARS as the under eye brightener concealer down the middle of the nose, like so. I'll use my S Sigma. Mm. That sets up fast, that NARS concealer. That was the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. Eau de Beauté. There we go. There's the under eye concealer. That was the Sigma F64 Soft Blend Concealer Brush. And I'm going to use the Sigma Brownie. There's two of them. There's one that's a little bit browner or beigeier. It's called Polished. And then there's one that's a little bright and pinky. And it's called Final Touch. And I'm going to use the Polished. There we go. Love Joy as my bronzer. I'm going to use the Sigma bronzing brush or con contour brush, soft angle contour F20, F23. I'm going to use that. This is called Love Joy. 
I'm going to go ahead and use it as my blush too. I need some fixative in my brows. They're starting to droop. I'm going to use the Sigma Clear Brow Gel with my soap. Get it in there good. Oh. Has anybody tried, comment here, has anybody tried the Patrick Ta soap brow? Or whatever that make your brows stand up product is that he launched recently. If so, let me know what you think of it. All right, I'm gonna let that set up for a minute. And then I'll brush it in place with a spoolie. I always leave a hole in my brows once I glue them all up like this. Pull out my F06, E06 again, and some Galapagos, and fix that little Here we go. Now I want something bright on the center of my lids. So I'm going to take this palette. I'm going to wet my brush. It's the Lavender Fix Plus. The color that I'm dipping into is, don't know, but it's from Isolde palette. There we go. And I'm going to take the pencil brush from Jacqueline Hill's Eye Master Collection. It's number 39. And I'm going to take the warmer color in here and do that underneath the Galapagos that's under my eyes. All right. Now I want to highlight. So I'm going to take this. Virgin Gorda, and I'm going to use it as a highlight. Then I'm going to take my new fan brush. It's an M143 from Morphe. There we go. Now for some blush blush, I have Torrid. It doesn't appear to be as orange as it once was. It may have bleached out after time, over time, because now it just looks like orgasm. And this one is Dolce Vita. And Gorda. I don't think that's going to work. I think Torrid is the one that's going to work. So I'm going to take this uh, Hakahoto brush and apply Torrid right there. I guess it's like Torrid Affair. All right. Now that my little black primer has dried, I'm going to go back with the Sumptuous. The first layer of Sumptuous was basically at the roots to darken that tight line. All right, there you go. So those were both Estee Lauder products. Little Black Primer and Bold Volume Lifting Mascara, Sumptuous. All right, let's do a lip. I do not have a lip pencil. Well, I kind of do. I have this one and it is Dolce Vita. And I have Orgasm. It's just nondescript, all right? <laughs> the other things that I have are La Freak. It's pretty. It's a... Uh, the liquid lip. I know you can't see it on my dark, dark hand. 
And this one is American, American Woman. Very similar. American Woman La Freak. That's right. That's La Freak, American Woman. Also have it up. Oh, I forgot I had another pencil. And this one's Rycogen, and this is an old favorite of mine. I've given away numerous of these to brides. Love these. This one is so silky. And there's that. Wow, they're all in the same family too, aren't they? That's Rycogen. American Woman La Freak. Let's put a highlight on the Cupid's bow. I'm going to go back in with, this one's really shiny. Let's do this one. This one is Isla Bonita. This one. Let's see if we can, it's kind of silvery. Let's see if we can put that on the Cupid's bow. And possibly a little bit right here. We'll wet my brush. Isla Bonita. Bronzer brush. I look like I, I'm pretty glowy. I look like I could use some powder. Let's use some La Prairie. I know, I can't believe I haven't been using this. So I guess what I have learned from this video is I don't own, I don't buy very much NARS. And I don't own much NARS. Why? Is it the container, possibly, that's weird and gets sticky over time? Is it the price point and it just doesn't stand out that much? I don't know. I do love this product. My favorite thing that NARS makes are these. I like the texture. I like everything about these. And they are called, I don't know what they're called, Satin Lip Pencil. I like these. These are my favorite thing. These are just okay. I changed the lip while the camera was cooling off. I took, took off the Dolce Vita and the Orgasm and put on the Rycogen. So that's kind of, do you, do you think, consider that a nude lip and a dark eye? A dark eye and a nude lip and makeup look using my NARS products. Thank you. I enjoyed doing this video for you. I look forward to the conversation in the comments and I'll see you again tomorrow night.